Hi, Ninny here. Today my friend Kelly Entwistle is going to be demonstrating how to use a brand new product at ninniesnapkins.com. This is amazing casting resin uh, and we're going to be demonstrating it in two molds that we also carry as well. The one on the left is a Prima mold. Um, it's called something medallions and then the one on the right with the uh, roses or actually their peonies is um, from the Stamperia, Stamperia collection called Precious. So you can get both of these molds and the amazing casting resin at minisnapkins.com or in store at our Every Ontario location. So this is a two part resin. It cures in just 10 minutes. Um, it does say don't breathe the fumes. We didn't find it had any smell at all, but that doesn't mean there's not toxic. So you should be wearing a mask. Definitely use it in a ventilated area. Our studio is really large and uh, well ventilated, so we didn't worry about it too much. I think as long as you're not doing it in a tiny room all day long, you're probably okay. Um, you should also actually be wearing chemical resistant gloves. Uh, as well as eye protection because you really don't want to get it in your eyes. So as I mentioned, this is a two part resin. So you have part A and part B and it's very simple that you just need to mix uh, equal parts of one and B or of A and B. Um, so one cup to one cup or whatever measurements you need. We tend to do two molds at a time. So we were planning on doing this big mold, the medallions mold. Um, but it's a good idea to have a spare mold off to the side so that if you have a little bit extra you're not scrambling around to find something because this does dry and cure very quickly you only get they say two to three minutes work time uh, I'd say it's even less than that um, yeah and uh, if you saw that cup there that she was holding a minute ago uh, that was one of our first trials um, and it actually hardened in the cup because we I guess didn't pour it fast enough so this uh, cup that's off to the right now near the bottom of the screen, bottom right corner, is actually a silicone cup. We got it off Amazon. Uh, it's a lot easier to clean so you can use it over and over again. So Kelly here is going to use, she wants to fill both of those medallions and we already know one medallion takes uh, two, or sorry, one each of these little cups. So since she wants to fill both medallions, she's going to fill both cups twice. So she's doing one part and pouring it in. It won't set uh, until you add the second part. But when you add part B, uh, you have to stir very quickly and, and get moving. And this silicone cup that we bought also came with the silicone stir stick that you can see there on the left, the blue stick. It's the same thing, the, the resin won't stick to silicone, just like the molds. So now Kelly is measuring out part B and now she's got to move fast as you'll see so two of the little cups and those two little cups uh, that you see that she's got are included with the amazing casting resin uh, and they do give you a, a wooden like a popsicle stick for stirring but uh, these silicone sticks are really nice unless you have a lot of popsicle sticks but they're pretty much a one use only so now she's mi mixing uh, it's hard to tell in the video, it will start to go a little bit milky and that's kind of your cue to get moving. So you start pouring in the middle of the mold. It is self-leveling, uh, which is really nice, but you really want to make sure that you've poured enough in that it's going to get into all the little nooks and crannies around the edge of your mold. So it starts out clear uh, and the amazing casting resin actually turns white which is perfect for painting. This is a paintable surface, paintable, sandable, um, really great for your furniture projects, um, great for you know your smalls, you want to do tin cans and add some resin uh, castings to it and the resin is as you'll see um, Kelly will demonstrate that once the resin is dry it's actually quite pliable um, and then uh, like when it what sorry when it first comes out of the mold it's still quite pliable so you can bend it around a curved surface 
So we waited, uh, we turned the camera off for about five minutes, maybe seven minutes, and you can actually start to see um, that the resin is starting to turn white. Um, and once it gets started, it actually goes really fast. I remember seeing videos previously, see there it's starting to go white. Um, I remember seeing videos and thinking that, sorry, I got my phone camera in the way there for a second. Um, thinking that the footage was sped up, but it's not. It's like I said, it takes about five minutes to get started, five to seven minutes to get started. But once it does, once the, uh, it starts to turn white, it goes very quickly. Uh, and when it's completely white, you know, give it another minute or two, uh, and then it's pretty solid and you can remove it from the mold. Uh, most other resins take, you know, maybe like 24 hours to cure. So that's what makes the amazing casting resin so special is that it cures in just 10 minutes. You can go ahead and use it 10 minutes later. So if you need to make multiples of the same thing, you know, it's a fast process. Okay, quick pause in the video here. Um, just for a couple minutes while the resin cures. And now we're ready to decast. Uh, so as you can see, you pick up the mold, you start to move it, you can see the resin easily separates from the mold. That's how you know it's ready. And look, it's just so easy to pop it out. So this is from the Precious Peonies mold. Kelly's going to hold it up here. It takes a minute for the camera to focus. Um, just to show you how there, I put my hand in to try and help it. There you go. <laughs> you see how uh, detailed uh, the casting comes out with the resin. And uh, we didn't find there's not, you know, you don't get a lot of bubbles in this resin. Uh, I know that can be a problem with some other uh, types of resin sometimes. So we're going to use this bobble. This is a actually a large Christmas bauble that I found on the side of the road and I've so far painted it white. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with it next. Uh, but Kelly wants to demonstrate uh, how you can curve the resin mold around um, a round object. Um, so it's actually still, isn't that beautiful? Just love that mold. Uh, so see, it's actually, it's pretty flexible. It's really warm because uh, it's been because it is curing uh, so that's a chemical reaction right so it's quite warm so it's pretty pliable and uh, bendable uh, and then of course if we we're going to leave it on this bobble you would glue it down you can use a gorilla glue or any kind of really strong glue uh, the other thing is so maybe 10 or 20 minutes later um, this will be very very hard and stiff you won't be able to bend it again uh, but if you heat it up with a heat gun or a hair dryer then it becomes pliable again the other thing I wanted to mention is uh, you know I mentioned that this is paintable you could also add uh, mica powders into the mold before you pour your resin and it'll come out colored I haven't had a chance to try it yet uh, but I know people who have and you know you get some pretty stunning results we don't carry, we carry mica powders. Um, I think we do have like one that's black, but uh, maybe it's something we'll get in the future. If uh, anyone thinks they'd be interested, let us know. Let me know in the comments if you'd like us to carry mica powders at ninniesnapkins.com. I really like that one. That was actually the reason I uh, wanted them. This mold was for that one. I mean, they're both beautiful, but. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, the l links uh, to all the products will be available in the description box below. Please give us a like, um, uh, leave us a comment, and if you could subscribe, that would be awesome as well.